<laughs> oh yeah! Oh, oh my head. <clears throat> Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Steep. Now you may be wondering, why am I in this game from 2016? Well, today we're doing a speed run, so I can become the best athlete there ever was. But where to start? Well, how about right here? Released in December 2016, one day after this guy became king of Thailand, Steep released some pretty good reviews, allowing players to ski, snowboard, wingsuit, and paraglide across the Alps. It became well known for its huge map that was comparable in size to games like Just Cause 3. But up until now, there's only ever been speedruns of the DLC. So today, I've challenged myself to beat every single challenge in the base game to a gold medal and get these three numbers to these three numbers. So, let us begin. We're the first person doing this run. We're going to make our rules. The rules are the run starts as soon as you move from this starting position. As you can see, I'm not moving. And as soon as you get the 118th medal, then it stops. Without further ado, here is to the world's first steep speed run. Let's go. Now, in case you couldn't tell, I was undeniably nervous. And this would show in the tutorial. <laughs> now, I recorded this live on my Twitch, which may have been a mistake since it was getting me a little distracted. Oh, man, I'm nervous. How are you doing, Brad? How's um how's your Saturday been? And land on that area Oh wait, I've missed I missed it. Oh no, that's not a good start. I'm gonna have to run back. Time loss. <laughs> it's alright, it's time that can be saved in the next run. Man, I am I'm really nervous. So, with the run officially underway, what was the plan? I don't know, we just do races and gold medals and stuff. The plan was there was no plan. I just had to get all the gold medals as fast as I could by discovering the challenges through exploration and completing them as fast as I can. Whilst trying to avoid Michael Schumacher's worst nightmare. Now after getting through the initial heebie-jeebies and completing the tutorial, you are on to our first challenge. Now don't be fooled, these challenges may seem like they're starting off easy, but they're gonna get a whole lot harder. This is the first challenge, we're gonna get our first gold medal. Very simple, I've done this race hundreds of times. Like I say, all we need is gold medal. Nothing more than that. So we're just going to do what we need to beat it and get to the end. Just like that, we had our first gold medal. And the next few challenges went a little something like this. Easy challenge, done first try. Another easy challenge, done first try. Easy flying through the sky challenge, done first try. Easy falling through the sky challenge, done first try. Now, do you see where this is going? In total, I completed the first 16 challenges of the run to a gold medal on my first try. And it was going pretty well. I was happy with the pace we were keeping, and I was confident. I just didn't need any unnecessary time losses. I didn't land it. Yeah, some, some of these long drop ones are um, completely just luck, whether you land them or not. Or at least I believe they are. Come on, man. Ah, yes. The simple cliff drop. All you have to do is jump through the sky whilst performing a trick from here down there. Very simple and very easy. And I see no reason why it would put any undue force on the human body at all. Just land it. Just stick the landing. Surely we have it this time. Nice. Okay, cool. I was playing this game with Banter um recently um i got him to check it out because he'd never played it before so it was quite fun but yeah no it was fun playing with banter um sort of bringing fresh spirit to this game let's let's wait for that one paraglider races suck they really do there is a paraglider race that us up a mountain that is like 10 minutes long it's not difficult it's just the fact that it's 10 minutes we are storming through this so far man oh this one's um not the easiest. The G-Force mechanic in this game sucks there. Yeah, it's strange. I don't know how realistic it is. Oh, that's really not helpful. This level up symbol getting in the way just as I'm starting my ride. Oh my god. Yeah, this one's this one's a weird one. Because the uh like the pathing of the snow parks is not always consistent. Like that. We go for one of these. 
Why did you see that there? Why does the passing not work? Now, before you all go rushing to the comments to type, haha, <laughs> lol, you're so bad. In steep when you perform a trick, if you let go of the trick button in midair, your character will automatically correct itself so you land in time. And for some reason, in these snow parks, that just doesn't work. So I had a bit of trouble with this, but we got through it eventually. Okay, I think we've done it. Oh my god, that took longer than I wanted it to. Uh, okay, I'm running out of challenges to do. Let's do this one. This is a unique one here. It's just a straight, straight race to the end. Five minutes long. Find your own path. And um, just hope that it's quick. I have always just done it by just beelining straight for the beacon. We got 40 seconds to get to the end. Or we're gonna have to do it all, all again. Have we not made it? Oh, I don't know. Please make it. Please make it. Please make it. Please make it. Oh my god, we've done it. Oh my god. Four seconds either side. Oh my god, we nearly didn't do it. We nearly fucked it. Oh my god, I am sweating. 21 medals in 36 minutes. That's not too bad at all. Now, if we do the math and take this current pace, we find that to do all 118 challenges would take us just about three hours. However, from past experience, I knew that there would be a few roadblocks in the way. Oh, and while all this was going on, I had a little help from the guy that was cheering me on. This guy, <laughs> this guy is my hype man. Up until this point, it had been pretty smooth sailing. However, we were starting to get past the initial easy challenges and getting to the races where now any mistake would cost me. Go, 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 go. Why have you done that? Why has he done that? Oh, uh, we might still be able to do it, but I'm not sure. Oh, no. Turn. Oh, my God. This is when it annoys me, is when you just can't control your character. Got the lead back. I don't know how I'm doing this end bit. Do I have to slow down a little bit or what? Turn right. Have we got it? Oh, we've got it. Okay, thank God. With another roadblock out the way, we were once again settling into a groove. You are close enough to unlock a drop zone. Now I suppose it's about time I explain what these drop zones are. Throughout the map you will find dozens of these drop zones, most of which will unlock a new race if you find them. And it was getting to the point in the speedrun where I was running out of the initial challenges that the game was giving me just by leveling up. So, with the money I'd earned so far, I bought a couple helicopter tickets so I could fly around and unlock some drop zones and get some more races. We've unlocked plenty more races, that'll keep us going for a little while. So. With some new races unlocked and some new gold medals to get, we got back into our groove. This time, even groovier. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lumberjack, the second most stupid race in this whole game. If you thought babies and their bushy little skulls were stupid, then you've clearly never met this race and this fucking trees, the trees, the trees. Now you're probably thinking, oh, why don't you just go slowly and navigate through the tree? Nope. Much too slow and you'll never get the gold medal. Your only hope is to beeline it through the trees and hope that you get the one in a million chance that you don't die. Oh, I've just, I've just gunned it straight through. How has that worked? Oh my God, we've done it. 
Oh my god, I need a breather. After nearly losing my sanity from bumping my head into a tree a million times, it was time for the coolest race of the whole game. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this one before, but this is what it looks like. I quickly beat the board sleigh just before the two hour mark and we kept on going. And after flinging myself into some rocks at a thousand miles an hour, we are on to the giant challenge. Remember that paraglide challenge I talked about earlier? We gotta go up there. <laughs> oh Lord. Yes, indeed. Oh Lord. We're just going up and up and up and up and up. How are we doing? We're getting there. I think we're probably, I, I feel like we're most of the way up. We're just, <laughs> we're still going up. Okay, this, this is the final stretch. Oh, we are so nearly there. There it is. Next up, rocket wingsuits. No, no, not this type, these ones. Now, originally the rocket wingsuit was part of DLC, but Ubisoft appeared to have since given access to the rocket wingsuit in the base game, and they now count towards the base gold medal counter. So we zoomed through the sky and got them all out of the way. <clears throat> Bunny number. No more rocket wingsuits. And with that, we we're about two thirds of the way through. There's another gold medal, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes, indeed. What the hell? I've done it again. Why? What? What's going on? Take a quick drink. You're very important to stay hydrated. I was still making pretty good time, and I was very happy with the pace. Pretty confident that I could finish under five hours, which was a lot quicker than I originally thought. However, since we were nearing the end of the run, all the obscure races that I hadn't found were now a bit trickier to find. So I spent the next couple minutes flying around the map looking for drop zones not to mention i still hadn't done the worst race i believe you can do it before we reach the five hour mark thank you for your belief i believe we can do it as well where would the drop zone be there surely it's there there it is cool we did it let's just get to the end there we go we are getting very close but after over four hours of straight steep i was starting to crack a little bit oh why why uh i think I think we're still on track. No, oh my fucking god. What? Why? 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 Why is there a tree there? Why is there a tree there? Why is there a tree there? Fucking trees. Oh my god, we've done it. Oh my god. I hate that race with a passion. And if you thought that was bad, now comes the race that I've not so subtly hinted at throughout the whole video. Uh, this one. This is the one I hate. I couldn't do it for the longest time on PS4. So we'll see how it goes. Now, to truly understand why this race sucks, let me take you through it. So you start the race by going over this ramp and trying to avoid this tree and this tree. If you get through that, you have to weave around the houses and go over this ramp before threading the needle through this house and pole. Next, instead of getting flung off this ramp, you have to instead somehow go over it without going completely off course and go around this rock. Finally, this last ramp. Oh my god, I swear to god this last ramp. You know, you just have to simply jump on this mound without getting completely flung to the side that the gold medal ghost has zero problem with, but because physics applies to you and not him, you can't do. Just at all. Now I don't want to bore you with repeated failures, but this race took me exactly one hour. One hour for a 30 second race. I hate it. Fuck yes! Come on! <laughs> My thoughts exactly, friend. Woohoo indeed. Fuck that race and everyone involved in it. With the biggest hurdle of the run out the way and only six more medals to get, the final push was on. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm actually, I'm full of energy once again. I'm not sure I like this one. Okay, five more. We're getting there.
the final paraglider challenge. Oh, thank God. Sweet. Okay. That is Mont Blanc done. gold here okay this is it this is the final race of the challenge and just like that, we have it. We're done. I need to pause the time. We're done. That's it. 16. Wait, 16? <laughs> Six hours, 14 minutes, and 59 seconds. I think it's a bit less than that because I had to tap out and pause the timer. But we've done it. Just for confirmation, all 118 challenges, 118 medals. Oh my god. I I didn't think I could do it. And with that, I'd done it. I'd set the first ever 100% gold medal record on Steep, meaning that we were now a world record holder, which is pretty cool. But I couldn't have done it without my Twitch chat keeping me sane throughout the whole thing. If you've made it this far, it must mean that you enjoyed so please leave a like and subscribe and maybe check out my Twitch. Everything's linked below and maybe one day we'll do this run again. But until next time, goodbye now.